You see them everywhere this time of the year. Political signs, it's uh, really impossible to avoid them. But in Penn Hills, a line may have been crossed, and one man thought it was time to get Marty. For Penn Hills politicians, this is fertile ground for campaign signs, a busy intersection where thousands of cars pass each day. Problem is, the signs are plastered all over cemetery property. It's illegal and disgraceful. Just ask Gary English. Politicians, it's win at any cost, and now they've stooped to such a low by you know, desecrating a cemetery with their political signage. The cemetery in question, it's the old German cemetery, 200 years old, and we have history here. We'll give you a hand here, and you can assist us as well. It was May. We teamed up with the folks at Rome Monuments and the Boy Scouts to clean up the cemetery, fix up the headstones, put in a new fence. It's Adam Hollis's Eagle Scout project. I just want to fix it up. When Gary English sent us these pictures, it was clear we had to do something about it immediately. Truly, Gary's fight for the deceased. He asked us to help out. These people do not have a voice, and I'm acting as the voice for the uh, dearly departed. Truth is, the signs are illegal, but there are illegal political signs everywhere. But a cemetery, that's different. For them to Junk it up with political signs is ridiculous. When I called state rep Tony DeLuca's office, he was hot. There's no respect anymore, even for the, the deceased. DeLuca called PennDOT, had the signs removed immediately. A lot of times, like you, have to get involved to cut the bureaucracy to get something done. I have to do the same thing. Well, he did it. The signs are gone. The fence line at the cemetery is cleared. Gary English is pleased. Honestly, every fence was covered with signs, right? Yeah. Right? All the way around the cemetery. Is this good for you? It's not good for me. It's good for society right. because the politicians lack the moral compass and someone had to take a stand. And that was uh, Marty Griffin reporting. Uh, by the way, we have no idea who put those signs up. Oftentimes, it's not the candidates. However, it is still illegal, even if it's a law that no one really enforces. In this case, so many folks we talked to about it were so annoyed the signs were on cemetery property. Marty felt he had to do something, and he did. Got a problem? Email get Marty at kdk.com or call 412 575 2244.